Hey everybody, today on Bittner Built, I'm gonna be doing a 10 tools for under $20. And now I know that you've seen a lot of these videos from everybody on YouTube all over the place. My promise to you is that these tools are all tools that I have owned for at least a year, that have a place in my shop that I use all the time. And so what I'm hoping is that you'll get a couple gems out of that that maybe you didn't know about because all of these things are cheap and super useful. And I love cheap, super useful tools. So let's go ahead and get into it. Number one is a scoring knife. This particular one is the Clark Brothers scoring knife. This one sells for $21 on Amazon. This is a more expensive one, um, but they have them as cheap as $6 out there. I bought this one because it has a leather sheath. And the reason I wanted that is because this thing is crazy sharp. If I push this against my skin, it's going deep. So. Uh, I like the little sheath on this one. The utilization for this is it makes a line on your wood that is about a third of the thickness of a mechanical pencil. So incredibly precise. The back side of this is completely flat. And so you're able to ride along a piece of wood. Let's say you have two pieces together. You're allowed to ride along it and make a perfectly straight line scoring that wood. You obviously don't push too hard so that you don't make an incredibly deep gouge in the wood. You're just trying to put a little faint line into the wood. Um, I would use this on expensive wood products that I really don't want to mess up on my marking because it's expensive and uh, I want to get my cut right the first time. So that's when I would pull this guy out over my mechanical pencil. Number two always lives on my apron. I use it every single day. I love this tool. It is a spring nail set and counter punch. It's $12.95 on Amazon, and it's also a fun tool to just shake around and you know make this boingy action. But the real use for this tool is to replace a nail punch or a nail set. Um, so it's two tools in one. So if I grab a piece of wood here, and let's say I drove a nail, but it is proud. It is not flush or recessed in the wood. I can just take this punch on the flat side, put it against the nail, pull directly up and let go. And it strikes the wood and drives the nail all the way down. Now, if I have to, I can do it multiple times until it goes. But with the precision of me being able to hold it like this, and not using a hammer, I'm getting direct hits on this and being able to drive it. Um, I find it much more accurate than your typical nail punch, which is great. The second reason why it lives in my apron is, let's say I'm installing a drawer. I hate those stupid little screws that come with drawer slides. I hate those stupid little screws. They always wanna wander when you're trying to get in there in a really awkward space to screw in your slide. So what I do first is I use the nail set end, which is sharp. I put it against the wood, I do it, and now it's made a small little divot. And so then when I have a screw, it's not gonna wander. I'm able to place the screw directly in the divot and drive. So this tool, it's fun when you're bored, but it's also super handy all around the shop. If I had to pick one tool out of everything that I'm showing you today, if you don't own this, you should buy it and try it. Um, you won't return it. It's, it's a really cool tool and for $13, it's a great price. Number three is sanding twigs. This is a hundred assortment pack for $13.95. So pretty affordable for quite a bit. Um, these guys are basically sandpaper on two sides of a piece of foam. So it's rigid, but you can also bend it. Um, you can fully take it to a corner if you want to, although good luck with it going back to normal again afterwards. Um, this is used a lot by the modeling community to sand very small little detailed items, but that translates over to us too, particularly if you're doing something like cabinet doors, when you're getting into tight molding and there's just something that you need to get in there and sand, or if you're doing a glue up and you have some squeeze out and it's hardened so you can't get in there, it's really hard to get in there with a block, you're able to get this guy in and really just go to town with it and get that glue taken care of. So, so these guys are really affordable, you get a whole big assortment of them and they have a lot of different uses to get in there and really do some final finishing work on something that's very detailed. 
Um, you might not think you need it, but then as soon as you have these at your disposal, you find yourself grabbing them all the time. So number four is something you might not expect. It's called the Crescent Apex E-Shock Bit. Uh, it sells for nine to eleven dollars and what this does is it protects you from being electrocuted up to a thousand volts it's magnetic and it's impact rated um, now you're saying hey this is woodworking stuff sure but if you're a woodworker you're awesome and most likely you're good at other stuff too mm, smart man. Um, if you're like me you end up doing a lot of things uh, around the house around the shop and so it's good for safety. This is really cheap. And so all you do is you place it on the front of your impact or drill, your bit goes in front of it. And if by chance you were to touch a live wire right here, this is gonna block it all. If anything, it's going to protect your tool investment because I don't know what's gonna happen to this impact driver and this expensive battery if a thousand volts go through it um, I'm pretty sure it's going to break something. So stopping it right here is a good protection for you and for your tool. So number five is whoosh, the Precision Tweezers Set by Exul. Um, it's a 10 piece set. It's ESD tweezers, anti-static, stainless steel, um, non-magnetic. They retail for $14.95. Um, these are awesome. Um, I like them so much, I keep them in their package, um, in their little protective case to protect them. Uh, usually I pull my tools out and just chuck it into one of my holders or something, but not this guy, because I really like it a lot. It has a whole array of tweezers that are really useful when, let's say I throw something in a CNC machine and I sand it afterwards, but there's things down in the cut that I need to pull out before I pour epoxy resin into uh, you know, the cut. Or even just a minute ago, I pulled something out that was wedged in between my T-Track and my uh, table here with these ultra, ultra precision, super little itty bitty razor sharp tweezers right here. Um, if you gave this set to uh, Uma Thurman, she would kill Billy real quick with all these things in here. A lot of them are really sharp. That's why I keep the uh, plastic tips right back on there. There's even one that has a tweezer hook, so it's two hooks that are together, so you can grab something, scoop it, and then grab it and pull it out. Um, I've used this a couple times in a really weird, tricky spot, and um, they're great. You even have like very flat, blunt tweezers that you can even use to pick up something larger. Um, can't say enough, for $14, these are, these are awesome. Number six is another detail sanding product. Um, it's called a detail sanding stick. They sell individually for $10, or you can get a five pack like I did with uh, extra sandpaper for these for $25. Um, they're really cool because they have so many different angles on it. So at this end, you have a rounded angle. Um, at the front, it comes to a tip. You have a whole flat face side, so if you need to kind of do a sawing action on something, you definitely can. The, uh, the unit is spring-loaded, so you push it together and you can rotate the sandpaper on here as you start to wear the sandpaper on things. Um, this is another thing that I use when I do kitchen cabinet doors um, or other things that come out of the CNC machine where you just need that really solid detail thing to be able to sand quickly. This is more rigid than the other thing I was showing you. So the other ones were very... Uh, weak, malleable, throwaway. These are for really getting in there. You can apply a lot of pressure and really sand into a groove. Number seven is a right angle bit. Uh, right angle bits range from $10 to 21s. This is a DeWalt one. Um, there's tons of good ones out there, so I'm not specifically saying this one. But a right angle bit is almost a given that you have to have when you're doing a lot of wood projects. When you get into a really tight spot, particularly in cabinetry, um, I mean, the list goes on, we all know. Um, this thing is definitely worth its weight in gold. Now, all you have to do with this thing is just click it into your impact driver or drill, and you're able to drill at a 90 degree angle. Since this is only 10 to $20, this is for everybody. Um, you know, obviously some of us have specialty tools that do this, but this is, you know, upwards of 
200 plus dollars, this is $10 that anybody can have. So being able to use this is great. Um, you can also pair this with an extension bar. Extension bars, you can get them for five to $20 for like a whole kit of these in different sizes. And so you could either attach this to your uh, impact first to be able to reach somewhere and get to it, or, you know, vice versa. It could go on here after you've made your right angle turn. This can get somewhere ridiculous. I actually used this extension bar just today on uh, a wall mount thing in my shed. Um, it was really deep and I couldn't get my impact in there. And so doing this, I was able to get to the screw and, and unscrew it. So um, these two together, so 15, 20, $30 as a pair, does everything and more that this will do. Um, this is phenomenal and a lot of us own stuff like this, but for everybody else, if budget is your factor, this is definitely a great solution for you. Number eight is dental picks. You can pick these up anywhere from Harbor Freight to Amazon, um, you know, five, 10 bucks for these guys and they last forever. I've had mine for at least seven or eight years and they haven't bent or broken. Um, they have so many uses from getting the uh, dried on glue out of your glue, bot, glue bottle so that you can actually squeeze glue out of there again uh, to when I'm doing an epoxy pour, um, sometimes when I'm cutting something on the CNC machine, it'll have a very shallow groove. And so I might take one of these in there and kind of scratch it deeper in order to be able to get in there before I pour the epoxy in. If you're working with um, rough cut lumber or logs, you can use this to get into different crevices to clean them out. Um, if you're using these for tools, you can use these to clean inside very tight little spots in your tool to make sure that your tool is gonna last longer. Um, there's lots and lots of uses for these and for a couple bucks, you should have these in your shop. So number nine is the nut and bolt checker. I'm cheating a little bit because this one's currently selling for 25, but when I bought it two or three years ago, it was around $20. Um, this thing is really useful. And you might say like, eh, and I agree with you, you know, eh, I don't use it all the time, but when I need it, I need it. And so picking up some sort of random nut that I have somewhere, um, being able to go ahead and go down the line and check it and actually figure out, oh, is it imperial or metric? Um, okay, this is the nut that I need right now. I can then go to the store and buy more of this specific nut if I need to. Um, same with, this is a great thing to do if you have a ton of random nuts and bolts around to give to your kids and say, okay guys, figure out which one's which, sort it. Um, it's not your conventional thing. You see these at Home Depot when you're in the, the nut and bolt aisle, except these will actually work compared to those ones that are at the store that have been mangled and all of their threads are gone. Um, so it's a, it's a really easy, convenient thing to have hanging up in the shop and you'd be surprised how much you use it once you have it. All right, so number 10, probably one of my most favorite things that I've purchased and I've purchased five of them and no, it's not my Milwaukee drivers. It is the Bitfix magnetic bit holder. There are so many different bit holders that you can attach to your tools out there. Lots of different designs. The main thing about this one is how crazy strong this magnet is. So here's my impact with battery on right now. Where's something metal? There, it'll support its own weight right here. Here is a sledgehammer. It picks up a sledgehammer. Didn't drop last time I practiced, but it picks up a sledgehammer. Uh, this particular guy, it has three bit holders right here. Um, no matter what I do, they don't move. And it's because that magnet is pulling on them as well. There's very much a magnetic pull behind it. Uh, the magnet itself is what is amazing because when I'm working, I don't need this many, but just to show you what will do it, I can have a whole big cluster of screws on here and keep working and pull them off one at a time as I need to. They're not falling off. This magnet's crazy strong. Um, it works as a good pickup afterwards. I got a whole bunch of screws on the ground. I just do that. 
today I was using it in the shed and I was installing uh, a new tool holder and I had a pile of screws on the ground, but I'm holding things and I'm ready to go and I'm like, oh no, I don't have any screws. I kept holding it and I just held the tool out and kind of put my hand there and you'll see they'll, they'll jump to get on the magnet and then I was able to continue doing what I was doing. So at $20, it's a little expensive for a holder, but I can attest that I have had this for five years. I checked my Amazon to see when I bought these. I put them on every single one of my tools, even if it's a drill. So this one's on a drill right now. The drill, when do I use this stuff with a drill? I still find that, that I use it and if I don't put it on it, I miss it. So I really love this thing. And uh, so that's why I bought so many of them. I mean, I have $100 worth of magnets right here, if you want to think about it that way. But it's a really good magnet. So highly recommend you guys look at this guy. So that was my 10 tools for under 20 bucks. If you have a cool tool idea, put it down in the comments. I'm probably going to want to buy it for myself. Um, I like cool, cheap tools that serve a good purpose in the shop. Um, we're a new channel. I launched the channel three days ago. We already had so many views and subscribers. So to Thank you so much to all you people who are, you know, hopefully making my YouTube dream come true. And hopefully I'm putting out good content for you. I'm working on a couple more fun videos for the rest of the week. And uh, stay safe in the shop and I'll see you in the next video.